Welcome to Wild Breakaway with Ben Clymer. I'm Audra Martin. Tonight, the Minnesota Wild kicked off a three-game road trip down south in the Sunshine State, and they kicked it off in style. A big come-from-behind win, four unanswered goals from the second period on. It's a big win for this team with their rookie netminder between the pipes. Very big win, very bad start for the Minnesota yeah. Wild, but a lot of resiliency shown. One of the best things you can say about a hockey team and you have to have good goaltenders Audra and now the Minnesota Wild proving they don't have one they don't have two because Stalock has been unbelievable um, they have three yeah. Pekinen was rock solid and especially given the worst possible start by the team in front of them a undisciplined first period he was sparkling for the final 40. He absolutely was, and he even uh, tried to score a goal tonight. didn't work, but you know what? He didn't get the goal, but he found his way into the record books because 44 saves, that is a new franchise record for a rookie netminder for the Minnesota Wild. It is a season-high 46 shots allowed by the Wild, but you know what? They get the job done. A 4-2 to win. They now have points in 10 straight, and here's what the head coach had to say about the effort from Kapo Kakinen. He reminded me so much of the Winnipeg game in preseason when he let those two in early and then he sort of said, uh-uh. But I don't think anything phases him. We got a 3-2 lead and he's trying to score. You know, <laughs> so I mean, I go, whoa. I mean, he just, it was nonchalant. He just got the puck. He says, I'm going for it. He had three goals in Finland, so. I heard, I heard. <laughs> There's still plenty of time for him to get that goal, and I think we will see plenty of him. So we'll see if he can find the back of the net. In the meantime, the Wild now look ahead to continue the road trip with Game 2. They'll just head across the state to take on the Tampa Bay Lightning. Of course, that means facing Nikita Kucherov, one of the best players in the NHL. But unlike last year, the Tampa Bay Lightning are not one of the best teams in the NHL. So now it's another prime opportunity. Much like tonight, the Tampa Bay Lightning have a really impressive offense but have been struggling defensively. And so now the Wild need to... I uh, have the same kind of effort they had in the final 40 minutes of this one tonight. Yeah, if they bottle up the final 40 minutes of play and use that for 60 minutes against Tampa Bay Lightning, that will be the recipe for success. However, just as we had talked about watching this game, they need to be a little bit better in some areas because the Tampa Bay Lightning are a little bit better in nearly every area versus the Florida Panthers. All right, well, we hope you join us Thursday night as the trip continues. The Minnesota Wild will look to extend the point streak to 11 games. It's been an impressive start. Streak. We'll see if they can keep it going. Enjoy the rest of your night, everyone. For Ben Clymer, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us on Wild Breakaway.